Hello and good evening friends. So we are all done with the first exam that we have for the season that is AIMS exam. I wish that everyone gets whatever seat we all are aspiring for. I'll spend a few minutes uh, in discussing the two or three MCQs that we have from Biostars today. Before we land up into doing the MCQs, let us just have a brief overview of what is the normal distribution curve. If we look at the normal distribution curve, also known as the Gaussian distribution, also known as the Gaussian distribution, please remember there are five important MCQs asked. First MCQ that it is a bilaterally symmetrical curve. Second, the two ends of the curve never touch baseline. You can see that this curve never touch the baseline. Third point, the mean is equal to the median is equal to the mode. What does it mean? That at the central point, the mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Fourth point, the standard deviation is equal to 1. What does it mean? That in a normal distribution curve, the standard deviation will go around in 1 1 units. So we will just look at in a couple of minutes what does, what does it actually mean. Fifth point is that the variance which is given by the formula is the whole square that is also equal to 1 and the area under curve is equal to 1. So these are your basic points about the normal distribution of the Gaussian distribution. Next couple of MCQs we get from this normal distribution curve is regarding the confidence intervals and the confidence limits. If you see that this is the normal distribution curve And we know from our previous knowledge that the mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Please remember that in 1 SD, 1 SD to the left and 1 SD to the right, there is a total of 68% of the population. It is in 1 SD plus minus 1 SD. In 2 SD, this is equal to 95% of the population and in 3 SD, in 3 SD, this is equal to 99% of the population. So what does it mean? It means that if there is 68 percent. These are this is the confidence interval. This is minus 1 SD, this is plus 1 SD, this is the confidence interval. So if we want to say that within 1 SD, one standard deviation, how much population percentage would lie? Answer would be between 1 SD, we will have 68 percent, between 2 SD, we will have 95 percent, and within 3 SD, we will have 99 percent. These are also known as the confidence intervals. And between minus 1 and plus 1, we have 68%. Please remember this. This is one of the most basic pandas for the normal distribution curve. <coughs> now, based on this understanding, if we draw the normal distribution curve again, we all know that within 1 SD minus and 1 SD plus, this is 68, this is 95 and this is 99. Please remember that two standard deviations is usually taken as the zone of normalcy. So what does it mean? That if the 95% standard, 95% uh, confidence interval is taken, it corresponds to how much standard deviation? It corresponds to minus 2 SD and plus 2 SD and this is known as the zone of normalcy. 
So now let us see what was the MCQ asked in the AIMS exam. The MCQ asked in AIMS exam was that can you calculate the 95% confidence interval if for a study or for a study with prevalence of the disease as 10% and the sample size or the number of cases was 100. So how to calculate the confidence interval? Please remember a simple formula that confidence interval is given by prevalence plus minus 2 times of the standard error. 2 times of the standard error. So what is standard error? So let us see what is the formula for standard error. Standard error is given by standard error is given by the formula P into Q divided by N. So this is the formula for standard error. In this case, standard error would be given by this formula PQ by N under root. P over here is given as 10%. Q is nothing but 1 minus prevalence. This is what is Q. So what will be 1 minus prevalence? That will be 90 divided by sample size that is 100 whole root, under root. So this will be given by 900 divided by 100 square root. This is equal to 3. So what do we get over here that the standard error is 3. So let us see what the answer is. The answer to this question would be confidence interval at 95% will be given by 10 plus minus 2 into 3 that is equal to 10 plus minus 6 that is equal to confidence interval 95% confidence interval is equal to 4 to 16. So that will be your answer in the MCQ number 1.